Exactly. So let's talk about the hard numbers. Uh, we will start with 88. So 88. Um, so, so 58, I think. Venezuelan 58, asylum 58. applications to the U.S. have increased by 58% this year. It is the largest. It's three times more than the next uh, largest country. Right. You know, we know that sort of Venezuelans are flooding into South America. They're impacting uh, neighboring countries, Brazil, yes. Colombia, but it's also com they're also coming and trying to come here to the U.S. Yeah, and they just had a recent uh, election and Last nothing weekend. has changed. That's right. Um, 53. So 53. Ant Antarctica is governed by 53 countries. They're increasingly vying for the lucrative natural resources that are there, mm -hmm. but there are no real laws to govern what's going on. It's sort of like the wild, wild west, and this is a new sort of place for great power competition. Right. Who's uh, making the most moves, the fastest moves? Well, China, China and Russia, Russia for oil and China for other resources that are there. Mm -hmm. There's something called the Arctic Council, which is the the, go the countries that govern uh, around the countries that neighbor the Arctic, which right. usually work together to cooperate on these things. But there are important pass uh, ship passage lanes as, you know, because of global warming, you can e increasingly travel mm -hmm. shorter routes from continents between mm -hmm. those shipping lanes. And there are also oil and other natural resources that people and uh, countries increasingly are going after. Yeah, they want to get their hands on it. Uh, is this 3.17? 3.7 billion. The, uh, in the first quarter of this year, China actually out uh, became the largest um, market for movies in the world, outpacing the U.S. Wow. Right? We, talk, we tend to talk about Chinese power and influence in terms of military or economic, but they also increasingly have this sort of soft power influence in things in places like Hollywood. Uh, they have these Confucius Institutes and language, but but yeah, Hollywood is a big place for for China as well. Well, you know that even uh, sort of Hollywood here, yeah, takes it, it, there's they're sort of always looking at ways in which they can market to China. And often when yep. we hear about the the numbers in terms of how successful a movie is, they say that's in North America, but we haven't opened in China yet. And they're right? increasingly thinking about China right. as a massive market, and and for movies as well as uh, uh, we always talk about other things. Right. And last number two. So this week, Burkina Faso separate, uh, cut off relations with uh, Taiwan. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the second one in in the last few weeks that's done so. Uh, as China increases its influence, we're just talking about this in in all parts of the world, increasingly in Africa as well. Countries are cutting off relations with Taiwan because Beijing does not get along with Taiwan. Mm -hmm. um, Taiwan actually only has one diplomatic ally in Africa. Uh, Swaziland now. Wow. Gabe Lipton, thank you very Great much. Great to be with you. You can check out all of these stories and more by subscribing to the Signal newsletter. Sign up for it at g0media.com.